everyone. This is Adriana. Hi, Caitlin here. Welcome back to Heart to Heart Astrology Podcast. As you can see, we are together in person. So this is a very special episode today. Absolutely. <laughs> number eight, right? I'm not yes, sure. Number eight it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're... infinity, we're coming yeah. a full circle. <laughs> we're in the U.S. She's visiting family and we're able to make this together. Yeah. In person, which has been great. Yep, happy to be here. Usually I'm in the UK, so happy to do this very special episode here yes. together in person. So Absolutely. We're going to be talking about the new moon today uh, in Cancer. Well, it'll be July 5th, and it's making a conjunction uh, to Sirius A. So we're going to be discussing that, uh, but stay tuned because we're going to be giving some zodiac, um, well, horoscopes of the zodiac sign. So you can check your sun, moon, and rising sign and see how this new moon is going to be affecting you. Okay. You want to and go into sure. this? And also, um, it's mm -hmm. there's an alignment with uh, the Sirius star system. Mm -hmm. um, and so I thought it would be an opportunity to kind of talk a little bit about that beautiful star system. So who are the Syrian star seeds? Mm -hmm. Well, they could be you and me. Each one of us has uh, a colorful galactic history which could be figured out through our astrology alignments. Mm -hmm. And we can decode these through determining our astrology natal chart with our degreed connections to the fixed stars and the constellations. So mm -hmm. Adriana and I both are available to provide our services to help you learn more about your galactic heritage. You can contact us at our email addresses to get more information about what we're offering to help you. Yeah, our emails are in the description below. Um, I don't think I shared my news actually yet that I am uh, actually okay. certified now. Congratulations. Uh, so we both yes. are galactic astrologers. So yes, if you are interested in that kind of reading or any other readings, check out um, our emails down in the description below. We can get back to you. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So who are the Syrian star seeds? Well, um, I can't answer for you, but I have several Syrian starseed connections um, in my chart. And some of the characteristics are deeply intuitive, meditative, and introspective, creative, and especially loves to write. You got a little um, flower in your hair. Oh. <laughs> there. A little flower. <laughs> Sorry. Um, love animals, nature, the environment. Nature loves you. <laughs> yeah. Prefer one-on-one -on -one relationships and interactions opposed to hanging out in large groups. Mm. People may call you an old soul. Mm. So these are just a few of the Syrian starseed traits. Mm. Um, and does this sound like you or someone you know? Um, the Syrian energies blend well with the new moon in Cancer because Cancers have many of the same traits mm -hmm. um, that I've just shared about those Syrian ancestors. So uh, Adriana and I both share a uh, rising sign in yeah. Cancer. So we can relate to these Syrian traits. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we're going to walk you through the 12 signs and see how um, they're being affected by the Syrian star alignment mm -hmm. with this new moon in Cancer. And it's an amazingly tight orb. Um, in my location, it's showing 0 0.01. So it's extremely yeah. Yeah. close. Mm -hmm. um, and the sun and moon in Cancer are also conjunct um, the Syrian star alignment. Mm -hmm. um, so Adriana is going to share some info about actually about the new moon in Cancer that's mm -hmm. happening on July 5th. Yeah, so uh, this new moon, it is in 14 degrees of Cancer. So you can check your own birth chart or natal chart and see where you have uh, 14 degrees in Cancer. And you can kind of get an idea of that area in your chart where this can be affecting you. Um, or as I say, if you've watched previous videos, if it's a little close to 14 degrees, you can get somewhat of an idea. Um, this is going to be 6.57 p.m. Uh, Eastern time here in the United States and then 11.57 p.m. UK time. Uh, and this is also going to be making a conjunction to Venus in Cancer. And what I was feeling with this conjunction to Venus, too, that I wanted to just briefly mention is, as most new moons are, they are 
new beginnings. So a lot of new beginnings in love. Some of you may have just been recently married in June, as we discussed, it's a very popular wedding month. So, or around this time, but you could also see new beginnings in your relationships. If there's been a healing that's been needed, um, that can definitely happen around this time. So fresh starts mm -hmm. in relationships and in love. So what else should we know about this uh, this new moon? Beneficial changes to domestic issues, especially uh, with this being in the very domestic sign of cancer. Cancer is a very domestic energy. It's all about the home, very nurturing, motherly energy, uh, and very healing too. Mm -hmm. So some of you might be even just wanting to be at home more, housekeeping, updating, <laughs> <laughs> wanting to just spend more time in the comfort of your home or with your family. Uh, also, there can be some increase with money possible uh, with that Venus conjunction as well. So some of you might see new uh, opportunities for that's that. Always nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> More connections, um, interactions too with uh, dogs and other animals you might see because this is the dog star. So I was mm -hmm. picking up on maybe, you know, look out for those things if you feel a mm -hmm. connection to dogs or other animals during this time. They could be sending you signs. And yeah, so I think we will go into now the horoscopes for all 12 signs. So I'm going to kick it off with Aries. So Aries, this is affecting uh, the fourth house, which really is all about that cancer energy with the fourth house, about the home, family, and all that. So your home life is most affected. You need to ask yourself, Aries, what changes need to take place in your home or when it comes to your family life. It's a time to balance out this area of your life, especially if it's been lacking. Use your time at home to connect with your family or loved one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then did you have the next one? Okay, we'll go to Taurus. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so how is this going to affect the uh, Taurus sun rising and moons because it's going to mm -hmm. affect all three yeah check all three and yes three. um so this syrian starseed connection will stimulate your creative impulses in fact the skills of creativity um were birthed by our galactic syrian ancestors and bringing mm -hmm. their artistic nature to life within our human design mm -hmm. also syrian en energies are all about taking the road less traveled and creating a unique expression and say how you dress for example or how you like to present yourself syrian starseeds love nature um just as you do taurus mm -hmm. so the Jan uh, july 5th cancer new moon influence may help you feel intuit intuitively how everything is connected mm -hmm. so feeling that interdependence is how we are truly connected and the syrian energies have no sense of separation so mm -hmm. I thought that was interesting. It makes me think of that movie Avatar, mm -hmm. uh, where everything was connected. Yeah. It just feels that like that yeah. kind of energy. Mm -hmm. So Taurus, pick up your creative tools and abilities to build something new and feel into your interconnectedness of everything. How about picking up a paintbrush or begin composing a poem or a song, even create a video? Um, this Cancer mm -hmm. New Moon is a great time to be expressive with your Venusian talents. Venus is your ruling planet. So mm, go yeah, for that's it. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Plato said, with a touch of love, everyone becomes a poet. I Ooh. love that. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Thank you both. Yeah. <laughs> then for Gemini's, Gemini sun, moon, and risings, this serious energy brings about good changes for you when it deals with finances and or your relationships as this is affecting your second house <clears throat> so increase in money is definitely um more likely at this time for you gemini so that's always good news mm -hmm. uh this i don't can... think anybody will turn that down yeah right <laughs> <laughs> beneficial domestic changes too so some good things in regards to um your home or just where you live reflect on what brings value to your life gemini's Think about what really brings value. And it doesn't always have to be um, materialistically, but what is truly bringing you value? Do you need to make any changes when you do think of money? 
um, to budgeting, spending more or maybe less on yourself. For some of us, it could be one way or the other. If you're not investing enough in yourself or if maybe you've been going too overboard, find that balance. Mm -hmm. uh, this energy also brings ease to your relationship and possibly much needed time at home together. Something to think about, Geminis. Yes, absolutely. And Leos are next. Um, no, Cancer. Oh, oh, cancer. You're, oh, you're, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm Leo. <laughs> I'm sorry, go so, ahead. <laughs> so again, Syrian energies, starseed energies, um, during the Cancer New Moon will affect Cancer suns, risings, and moons. By creating an increase in your desire to be in smaller groups mm. uh, rather than large groups of people. Also, you may want to be not want to be the center of attention and prefer to observe and self-reflect mm. your ability to discern other people's motives, which can almost be telepathic ability to read people's energies intent will be highlighted by these Syrian energies. So be aware of those around you. <laughs> and see the messages that they're giving you <laughs> so cancer your intuition and your vivid imagination may be on overdrive and you may benefit by journaling or even mm -hmm. begin writing the book you've always said you will <laughs> that's a little note to me yeah <laughs> and syrian energies blend well with cancer energies mm -hmm. so this may be an opportunity for you to bust free of labels and stereotypes and shapeshift your way into a new reality for yourself. Mm. So maybe during this Caesarian, this Syrian, not Caesarian. Yeah, it was like Sicilian and Syrian. <laughs> during the Syrian alignment with your new moon in Cancer, you could break away from shyness or feeling reserved and share your great interests with others because mm. you know, Cancer, mm. when you share about a topic you love, you open up like a beautiful flower Petals unfolding and with great wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like us. Yeah, it does. I know. <laughs> That's our cancer rising, definitely. Oh. So for Leos, Leo, sun, moon, and rising, this is affecting your spirituality as it's in the 12th house. Perhaps even those of you Leos who have past life connections to Sirius A. So something you might want to see if that resonates and think about what uh, Caitlin shared in the beginning and do a lot of those traits, you know, sound like something really um, deep, like deep connections that you might have from your past. So this is a time for you to revitalize your spiritual practices, as well as finding much needed time for rest. Okay, there is a call for you guys to take a break and rest. <laughs> Let the waters of the zodiac sign of cancer simmer down your fiery flames, Leo. <laughs> You deserve to have a break, so enjoy, especially in, if you're in the Western Hemisphere with the summer months. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's hard for Leo to, to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right. Well, next we're going to talk about um, you Virgos out there. Mm. Okay. So I have a Virgo moon, so I'm have my mm, listening right. listening ears on with for myself too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but again, your sun's rising and moons in Virgo. For you, we're reinforcing your love for analysis, introspection, and deep dives into details you explore. So you should be having fun. Virgo, you may feel drawn to spend more time in nature during the new moon in Cancer. Also allow your energy field to be cleansed of too much mental stimulation and feel a desire to make more time for playing with the elementals and fairies as you take long in centered walks, exploring each flower and finding a special rock to put in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Virgo, if you have a pet, you may want to spend more time with them during the Syrian starseed alignment. Mm -hmm. um, Syrians love animals and mm -hmm. pets. So people that are super duper um, animal, you know, fur mamas and fur papas mm -hmm. should look in their chart or have us look for you because I'm sure you're going to have a Syrian galactic mm -hmm. alignment. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just for the friends yeah. that I know, it's, it does come about. And like yeah. I said, I have this myself. I think Sirius and, uh, yeah. and Lyra. Do you have the Syrian yeah. in yours too? I don't think I have much Syrian. No, it's okay. the Lyran for me with okay. the animal connection, yeah. definitely. Okay. Lyra, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, if you have a pet, spend more time with them. And then 
new moons themselves are about starting and seeding something new that you may even want to maybe get a pet if you don't have <laughs> one or possibly add to your furred finned or feathered family with the nurturing <laughs> cancer influence happening um syrian energies are very much about rising to higher vibrational frequencies so making time for deep meditation and pranayamas pranayamas mm -hmm. are breathing exercises mm -hmm. and those could be very helpful to virgo energies uh during this new moon and syrian star alignment mm -hmm. I was even thinking too, gardening too, when you were saying mm -hmm. about nature mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. being yeah. out in the garden. Yeah. And <laughs> one of the pranayamas that would be great is called Nadi Shodhanam. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. basically, it's you take your index finger and middle finger, place it on your third eye, use your thumb and your pinky finger to mm -hmm. uh, direct the energy. So you're shutting off your nadis, you're closing off one nostril, breathe through that nostril, mm -hmm. and then you alternate so you, you have one closed off and then you close um, the other and you get this back and forth which is super balancing mm -hmm. so that's probably my one of my favorite um actual pranayamas for for really getting value so that would be good for virgos to mm -hmm. do and you can look it up online nadi shodanam or we could put it yeah. on our our video sure yeah okay so now for libras so this moon this new moon with the energy of Sirius will be bringing you new opportunities in your career and work. You may even <laughs> receive an increase in money, maybe a bonus, uh, like a bonus pay in the job that you do or extra clients coming your way. This can also come in the form of a new opportunity to prove yourself in your business or work, uh, work endeavors, anything that you've been, if you've been trying to go for that promotion or looking to level up, this is a great time for you to prove yourself and, you know, really, really show off your skills here. Mm -hmm. So since Sirius is also beneficial in domestic affairs, uh, when the moon is aligned to it, this can bring a good chance at buying or selling a home as well. Mm -hmm. okay, so something you guys might be thinking about. Mm -hmm. Need those interest rates to go down though <laughs> yes <laughs> it's a seller's market mm -hmm. right now <laughs> but a good opportunity might actually align your way with this so something <laughs> to think about there's a there's a libra in mind that i <laughs> that i know my friend so <laughs> i think uh it might be a good opportunity definitely take it yeah mm -hmm. absolutely all right we're moving along here we're going to go to um the Syrian, uh, Syrian star seed energy connections with Scorpio. Mm, Scorpio. Okay, so um, this is going to help you this time, this new moon, to emphasize your love of sea creatures. And I have a friend that mm. loves sea creatures, and she's getting tattoos all over herself with sea creatures, oh, slowly okay. but surely. Uh, she said the other day on, oh. on uh, Facebook that she's almost complete. <laughs> <laughs> And she's definitely a Scorpio. Yeah, very water energy. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So many people believe dolphins and whales are connected to the Syrian star system. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. Mm -hmm. um, I have I have had the most amazing experience with dolphins, mm -hmm. uh, several of them my whole life. But the most powerful mm -hmm. one was when we were swimming in Key West. This was on summer solstice in 1990, oh, wow. 1998. Mm. so right about now so this yeah. is coming up into my mind pan wow and um we had uh attuned the dolphins in the area the night before to the reiki ray we um went on the pier and sent that out we had a captain of a small boat who happened to be a boat the boat belonged to a friend of mine for many years and he had many encounters with mm. dolphins and whales with this boat so this was we had so many synchronicities happening wow. this was amazing sure that was amazing. oh my god and so when we went that that day the next day there was a pod of 18 to 20 dolphins wow <laughs> and we were able to just slide off my girlfriend and i and enzo was there too but we slid off the front of the boat and right into the water snorkels and all <laughs> and had the most amazing wow. encounter it lasted about 45 minutes because the uh captain was towing us on the line behind the boat oh. so as they were feeding we were able to stay with them it was Aww. the most awesome so magical memory so that was wow. one of my syrian 
memories mm. like i said right around this time because it yeah. was on solstice yeah so we're recording this on the solstice popped into yeah. my head <laughs> oh yeah and then um amazing let's see where would i leave off here let's see so um oh, with the dolphin yeah yeah so you're so scorpio you do well with a new moon in cancer because it's a fellow mm -hmm. water sign mm -hmm. um and this may help you to kind of open up during this time and share your feelings. A lot of times some Scorpios go super deep and then they kind of clam up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And then and then if they don't share, then it comes out and it's like ee, ee, all over yeah. the place. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's better if you can go a little bit with the wave of the cancer energy and share mm -hmm. um with somebody you trust. I know that's kind of an issue. Um so oh, excuse the plane. Yeah, maybe I'll wait till the plane finishes. I decided to do it outside, even though it's it's blazingly hot here in Ohio right now. <laughs> but we have a nice breeze and shady spot there. Yeah, we'll overcast now. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> Flying through. Nothing like live TV, folks. Okay. Um. So, uh, it may be a good time during this new moon in Cancer, Scorpio, for you to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with the one you truly trust. Again, diving deep like the dolphins and the whales, um, due to heal any pain. You know, it's it's uh important to acknowledge that and honor yourself. Um, it may be you've hidden it and it needs to come out. Well, this mm. this is this full moon also, and we we talked about we're in it right now as we're we're taping this, but mm -hmm. it's just drawing up stuff fab intensely. Mm. Um, so when you discover the deeper meaning of something, you may then better understand it and start the healing process of true forgiveness, because that's ultimately where we all are going to head at some point. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's unavoidable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Sagittarius, Sagittarius sun, moon and rising signs, the energy of this cancer new moon. Uh, with Sirius will impact you on an emotional level. We're going deep here, Sagittarius, because this is in your eighth house. This is a good opportunity for you to address any wounds that come up with this alignment, especially if there was things uh, like we just said in the last sign from the full moon, when you, by the time you watch this, um, from the last full moon, which was the 21st of June, um, if there was anything that needed to be addressed from then, uh, from that time that might be coming up, um, as full moons can bring that out. So now the new moon might have you reevaluating those things. Mm -hmm. uh, so this deals with also money. You can expect to see an increase in your earnings in the form of a gift, work commission, or bonuses, or perhaps even an inheritance, as Sirius can indicate degrees of wealth also. So yeah, whenever you get that, that's actually a very favorable um, alignment to have there, especially as this is in the eighth house. So hopefully, yeah, some of you guys will have some good, uh, good fortune there. So, <laughs> so your your message mostly, Sagittarius, is to take this time to heal and be open to receiving. Now, that sounds good. Absolutely. Okay, so we're moving on to Capricorn. So Capricorn suns rising and moons. Listen up. Yeah, this is us. <laughs> I know it is. Capricorn sun. Um, stepping out of any rigid patterns and embracing new ventures, mm -hmm. new ways to rise to the top of any situation. Mm -hmm. So one of the Syrian starseed traits is to be your own person, travel down avenues no one else has ever done. Capricorn, mm -hmm. you have the tenacity to initiate the new and then stay the course as the seeds you planted start to sprout healthy new energies. Mm -hmm. um, new moons are wondrous or wonderful initiating energies, especially in cancer, flowering. So this may be a perfect time to move forward with your ideas and begin creating your new brand, something different that will be a pioneering energy for you. Mm. On a more personal level, maybe you may want to step out of wearing the same style and try a new fashion that inspires your unique flair. Or how about a new hairstyle? Mm. Capricorn, the world is your oyster. Mm. <laughs> Love it. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Aquas, Aquarius, this is uh, your uh, sun, moon, and rising horoscope for this. 
Uh, the energy of this Cancer new moon with Sirius is affecting your daily routines. This is a great opportunity for you to have a fresh start to your daily routine or any good habits that you've been wanting to get into. It's a great time to start that. If you've been, you know, thinking about getting into any sort of new routines on your your day to day life, or working out, or changing eating habits, anything like that, really, it's a great opportunity for you to start that. This is your sign. <laughs> Uh, so aqua also as the water bearer aquarius if you're not familiar it's um shown as the water bearer mm -hmm. um this is uh, asking yourself how much weight have i been carrying on a daily basis hmm. how can i lighten the load hmm. okay because you're i just was getting this visual of like you are the water bearer aquarius mm -hmm. and are you carrying too much on a day-to-day -day basis so mm -hmm. how can you lighten the load for yourself Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so something for you guys to think about during this time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have an Aquarian stellium? I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have. I'm speaking from personal yeah. experience. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So we're finishing up with you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. uh, your the suns, risings, and moons. Um. So, what will the Syrian star seed energies bring you? Well, the ability to shape shift through the ethereal waters of your dream self, opening to the music of the spheres, feeling into the shapes and sounds of sacred geometry. Um, Syrian starseed energies are extremely relatable to Pisces, which also mm -hmm. is connected to the 12th house of astral realm experiences. Mm -hmm. So what is sacred geometry? It is an ancient science which helps you discover the patterns that exist in all things. Mm -hmm. So Pisces, what pattern are you receiving uh, over and over? Is resistance a revolving pattern present, which is blocking the unfoldment and manifestation of your dreams? So the Cancer New Moon is an enchanting time to receive guided imagery, maybe even have a Reiki session to flow more deeply into the astral realms with conscious awareness and then journal your experiences to discover direction and intuitive guidance for your soul's journey. Hmm. So seems like a pretty good month. It what does. Do yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For, so yeah. For the new moon. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. 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 And now I can't wait for you to share your, um, your beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I have card a card too. here. Yeah. Um, I pulled this the day that I wrote this. Um, I'm more of a writer than a presenter. I think I love to write. And um, mm. so it's hard for me to just go on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I write things out. But, yeah. but anyway, I pulled this card. It's from Lisa Royal Holt. And it's her um, Galactic Heritage cards. Yeah. And I was shocked because I, we were just counting them up. There's 108 cards. Yeah. And out of the whole deck, well, I actually have them split in two sections and I just was guided to pull from this one section. And mm -hmm. out of there, I picked up card number 59, unfinished business. And it's the uh, star system of Sirius. How so, perfect is that? So I had, I yeah. knew I was just going to keep this for today. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I'd like to just read a little bit. Um, boy, I'm getting bit. Are you getting oh, bit? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was just saying. I was like, something's biting us. It's a fly. We're going to have rain. Yay, we yeah. need rain here. That must be why. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little fly biting us. Um, anyway, so with the unfinished business, I'm going to read a little bit about what could happen. But I, I love this part is that I'm going to read this and then I'm going to come back to a part that just makes so much sense to me. So, mm -hmm. um, so if you sense that you have some unfinished business, mm -hmm. um, no matter what happens, know that when you follow the flow of life and meet all challenges with integrity, instead of running from them, any unfinished business that is carried has a tendency to resolve itself easily. It is only when there is resistance that we postpone the inevitable. Keep that in mind as you navigate this human life. Well, in this other section above, it says, and I love this, to remember this. The lesson is that you are complete in every moment. If you were supposed to do something, then it would be done. Mm. 
I yeah, just love that. I yeah. love that. I love that because I think when we apply that in our lives, um, we're truly living in the present moment. Right. Yeah. And you don't feel like, oh, yeah. I have to, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this or this. Yes. Like you're not happy mm-hmm. when you are living out in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, or, you know, really it's the optimum would be if we lived in a world where we could just make a decision in the moment that mm-hmm. we, that's what we really would all love to do. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we live in a 3d, um, reality where we have to plan things out ahead of time and Mm -hmm. um, it makes it much Mm -hmm. more challenging Mm -hmm. so it would be wonderful but if we at least stay to the best of our ability with that in the moment um, choices in our lives yeah um, and realizing that it is complete as it is Mm -hmm. um, that just makes a lot of sense to me yeah and with the new moon like just being about completions yes so it's like coming full circle yes and then you're hopefully this new seeds that you planted will start sprouting beautifully Mm -hmm. okay well if you made it this far thank you so much for watching (laughs) this video if it did resonate for you please do comment down below and share with us what resonated and do give this video a thumbs up um, or if they do a heart now, is it a heart? Or it is a thumbs up. I'm thinking of Instagram. Oh, no. Just like this video. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to whatever channel you're watching this from. You might be watching this from Starry Sky Readings, my channel, or you might be watching it from Bhakti from... Galactic Healing mm-hmm. or uh, Julia Bala's Galactic Astrology channel. We're on all three. Yeah, all three now. So yeah. go ahead and check out all our channels. And thank you so much for watching this. We will thank see you. you in the next one. Stay tuned. Bye, everybody. Bye.